Hey guys. Hi everybody. Here we are one more time. The Generations Extravaganza. One more time. And th this, this is literally, this is a bonus episode because we were wrapping up our last one talking about Tenacious D and saying we should do Tenacious D sometime. And as soon as we uh, kind of like registered the time on the clock, I was like, hey, we've still got a little bit of time. Let's do it now. Nope. We'll do it live. Fuck it. So you get the bonus Tenacious D uh, uh, music review right here. And I don't think I've ever, I, I'm not aware of ever hearing anything by Tenacious D. Um, I have had someone in the past tell me I should listen to them and that they're good and stuff, but I don't think I've ever heard anything by them. So this will be, so Tenacious, I mean, you know, you, you know that uh, Jack Black is the lead singer and um, I, I've seen Jack Black somewhere in something. He's been in movies, hasn't he? He's been in a bunch of movies, actually. Yeah. Okay. And, and I can picture him. Um, what, uh, I mean, how does he wind up being part of this music group? Uh, apparently, he's a huge fan of hard rock, heavy metal, and is apparently fairly musically talented. Uh, and so, like, just started this thing. I mean, you know, he's a comedian. So he kind of started this thing as sort of a you know, a comedic kind of deal, but also an opportunity to play music. And, you know, so a lot of the songs have some humorous elements to them and, uh, and they're not all completely sort of hard rock, heavy metal. In fact, the song we're going to listen to is a little bit more of a, it, it's a more mellow uh, one of their songs and, you know, has a little bit of that sort of rock opera kind of a feel, right? Where it's telling a story and kind of taking you on this little journey. Um, so uh, it, it's ridiculous, uh, but clever, which we've talked about before that we both enjoy clever. So, all right, all right. All right. So this, we're going to watch the, I'm going to show uh, a video uh, because the video is important for this one. And uh, this is, uh, the song is called Kickapoo. And uh, Kickapoo, does that ring a bell? Kickapoo? Um, the only reference I have for it is Kickapoo Joy Juice. Hmm. Which I'm not sure where it came from or what. Uh, uh, but yeah, Kickapoo. Was that an Indian tribe maybe? Oh, it might have been actually. Um, but uh, in this case, it's a reference to a town in Missouri. Really? Uh, which is why I was asking, because uh, maybe uh, maybe you would recognize that. But uh, anyway, so this is actually a clip from uh, a Tenacious D movie. They made a movie um, called The Pick of Destiny. And uh, so this is actually from that movie. Hmm. All right, you ready? So we got to do a countdown here, because again, our low-tech uh, video sharing capabilities, we're going to coordinate here. All set. All right, all set. And make sure you uh, mute your uh, sound for me. All right. All right. Three, two, one, go. A long ass fucking time ago in a town called Kickapoo. They lived a humble family, religious through and through. But yea, there was a black sheep, and he knew just what to do. His name was Young JP, and he refused to step in line. A vision he did see of fucking rocking all the time. He wrote a tasty jam, and all the planets did align. Oh, the dragon's balls were blazing And I stepped into his cave And I sliced his fucking cockles With a long and shiny blade Twas I who fucked the dragon Fuck a lysing, fuck a loo And if you try to fuck with me Then I shall fuck you too Gotta get it on in the party zone I got to shoot a load in the party zone Gotta lick a down in the party zone Gotta suck a down in the party
from the depths of hell. Rock and roll's the devil's work, he wants you to rebel. You become a mindless puppet, the will survive the pull strings. Your heart will lose direction, and chaos it will bring. You better shut your mouth, you better watch your tone. You barely fall weak with no telephone. Don't let me hear you cry, don't let me hear you moan. You gotta praise the Lord when you're in my home. Can you hear me? I am lost and so alone I'm asking for your guidance Won't you come down from your throne? I need a tight compadre Who will teach me how to rock My father thinks you're evil But man, he can suck a cock Rock is not the devil's work It's magical and rad I'll never rock as long as I am stuck here with my dad I hear you brave young jables, you are hungry for the rock But to learn the ancient methods, secret doors you must unlock Escape your father's clutches in this oppressive neighborhood On a journey you must go to find the land of Hollywood In the city of fallen angels, where the ocean meets the sand You will form a strong alliance, and the world's most awesome brand Fame and fortune through the valley you must walk. You will face your inner demons. Now go, my son, and cry. So we built from fucking Kickapoo with hunger in his heart. And he journeyed far and wide to find the secrets of his art But in the end he knew that he would find his counterpart There you go. Oh, you're muted. That was different. <laughs> kind of ended abruptly. Well, it's because it was a clip from a movie. Oh, okay. What's the movie? The Pick of Destiny. Okay, okay. And wasn't he... I never saw it, but wasn't he the one in School of Rock? Yep. Okay. Okay. Yep. All ties together. <laughs> All ties together. And you, you know, uh, did you recognize the dad in the scene? Hmm. Hmm. You, you might either recognize his voice so. or what he looks like. He's a famous musician. All right, hang on a second. Are you cheating? Yeah. Well, I'm looking <laughs> at, I, I went back and I'm looking at him <laughs> and I don't know, meatloaf. Yep, it's meatloaf. Really? Yeah. Ah, hey, good guess, Jimmy. Good guess. Wow. Yeah, yeah so he's got meatloaf and Ronnie James Dio in there uh, in the, the same scene. Not bad. Okay, Ronnie James Dio, I don't know. Ronnie James Dio, so, I, you know, he's got the Dio poster. So Dio, he had his own thing for a long time, kind of heavy metal. Um but uh, he was the lead singer for Rainbow and took over the lead singer for Black Sabbath after Ozzy left. Ah. Very interesting. 
So there you go. Uh, so one of these days when, when you're bored, you'll have to put on Pick of Destiny and, uh, and, uh, and, and watch it for what it is. <laughs> I, I might try that tonight. Uh, I don't think I have anything on my schedule. And I was uh, wondering early, gee, what am I going to do tonight? Uh, is there something I can watch? Yeah, I, I might check that out. There you go. You got to be in the right mood for it. It's ridiculous. But uh, that gives you a sense, right? You know. When, when I'm in the right mood, a ridiculous movie can, uh, can be good. For sure. Tell me once more, pick of death. Pick of destiny. Pick of destiny. Pick, like a guitar pick. Pick of <laughs> destiny. destiny. <laughs> like you know, destiny hey. chose. Yeah. You want me to come over there and like put it in your VCR for you? <laughs> yeah my vcr i think at one point i had four of them no way yeah one you could play but it wouldn't rewind so you'd have to take it out and put it in the other one to rewind it and uh, yeah they were uh, yeah good old vcrs good old vcrs we've come a long way all right, so uh, so Kickapoo, might as well give it a rating. We're here. Um, yeah, and also um, let me make a note. I got to look that up. If there is a Kickapoo, Missouri, I've never heard of it, but uh, I'll look that up and see if there really is. I mean, you wouldn't think he would just make that up, right? The, the area that they showed on the map when they showed Kickapoo, Missouri, I'm fairly familiar with a lot of that area. And I don't remember. There's a Kickapoo Township in Platte County. I'll be damned. Must be really, really small. So there's not a city, but there is a uh, township. All right. Fair enough. There you go. Fair enough. All right. Uh, actually, he, 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 uh -huh. and, and he actually said in a town called Kickapoo. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, um, rating. Well, I don't know. I'm not going to put it in my library, I don't think, but it was amusing and entertaining. I'll give it a 5.3. Wow, 5.3. We are getting really specific now. Okay. Yeah, fair enough. I mean, I'd probably rate it a little bit higher, but it's not one that I want to hear all the time. But to be fair, there are times where I'm, I'll, I'll wake up and I've got tenacious d in my head for some reason and it's like okay so i'll get in and you know put it on right you know and uh so i will listen to it periodically well and like you said at the beginning and it kind of needs the context of the video which probably needs the context of the whole movie to to have the full meaning but yeah that was uh it reminds me so much of my own childhood <laughs> <laughs> yeah not really yeah not 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 too much yeah the uh the one part that caught my attention and uh i'm i'm guessing the movie uh answers it but <laughs> after his journey he didn't even know where hollywood was which <laughs> hollywood but after he finally gets to the right hollywood and he's still got that little cheesy guitar so uh, I'm, I'm guessing there's a story uh, afterwards on how he Came a, got himself a real guitar or whatever. Uh, there is, there is, okay, and right. uh, and a bandmate. Uh, ah, yeah. so uh, you know, yeah, because you know they have to the, to form the world's most awesome band. Uh, that's what Dio said. So you know, it's a <laughs> very good, very All good. Right. Uh, would, not they do other straight up 
rock and roll songs. Yeah, I mean, there's there's standalone. Yeah, I mean, most of them are, still have some kind of like, you know, silly element to it. But there, one of their songs that I really like a lot is called The Metal. And uh, it's there's not a whole lot of sort of silliness about it. You know, I mean, there's a little bit of silliness, but, uh, you know, the, the, the whole thing is basically how, you know, other genres of music came along, you know, trying to surpass metal, you know, but metal beats them all. Right. You know, like kind of a thing. Um, but it's it, it's pretty much just a straight up rock song. And uh, and it's fun. It's got a good rhythm. Uh, I'll have to check out a couple of the regular songs and uh, see what I think. Good. All right, we got to wrap this one up. Wrap it up. Good, because I'm just really getting tired of this camera being on me and the, the pressure, the lights, the, the makeup has to keep coming in and wiping my brow. It's a, do, do they, on my side of thing, they don't like bring me snacks or anything. Do they bring you like snacks and, uh, you know? They, they put me down here with a can of Mountain Dew and uh -huh. say, you know, have at it. Go ahead. You know, that's it. What is that? There should be a buffet over here. Vess, could you arrange that we have caterers next? Never mind. Yeah, you need to put it in your writer. We need to change our writers. Our our uh, contract demands. Yeah, I want twenty red peanut M and M's. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You guys know what to do? Oh, Subscribe oh, and stuff? I, I didn't get... Uh, uh, Jeff uh, provided me with some new lighting uh, equipment. I, I, I almost forgot to demonstrate the uh, uh, Googling um, application where I go like this and get my eyes all... Uh, <laughs> oh, it, it does, it, it does kind of look googly-eyed. <laughs> thank you for the lights yeah and now, now i know what you do to entertain yourself all day <laughs> when i'm in the right frame of mind <laughs> all right all right uh, thanks, thanks everybody peace out see you later bye